If you ever wanted to mod The Sims but didn't know where or how to start, this is the video for you. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to easily mod The Sims. This requires minimal effort compared to the harder version, which I will also show you in this video, and it's so much faster. This is also my way of convincing my friends who already mod The Sims to do it with this app called CurseForge because it's so much easier, it's literally a life changer. I do want to mention that mods and custom content only work for PC players, but it should work regardless of what system you use. I will have timestamps both in the description and in the comments with each section in case there's something you, in particular that you want to go see, like how to download this or how to download mods in the regular version. So I'm going to start by showing you the app Crisford and show you what it does so that you can decide for yourself if you want to download it, which I think you will, or if you want to download mods the usual way. But again, they will be in their own chapters in case you want to go to those instead. This app makes modding easy for many games actually, including Minecraft and Stardew Valley. And basically, you look up what mod you want and you install it. And that's it. Seriously, it is that easy with this app and it is honestly mind-blowing because what we had to do before, it wasn't difficult but it took up a lot of time. After you click install, the app will download and install the mod in the right place so all you have to do is play the game. Now, why would you want to download this app instead of installing mods the regular way? First of all, every time that there is a new release or update, some mods tend to break. Usually, we have to go to each individual mod page and download the newest version of mods. With this app though, all that you have to do is click on update and you can even update all if more than one mod needs to be updated. I find this particularly helpful for the mods that have to be updated each time, like Better Pull Them By, MTC Command Center, and UI Cheats. This is also a way to find new mods or custom content that maybe you haven't heard about before. For example, for me, I've never heard about SimSim online store, but now I just saw it there and I'm interested because this actually looks fun. Like, I may actually just install this right now. <laughs> so to show you, all I have to do is click install and then it's gonna download on its own and I don't even have to do anything else. There are a few disadvantages though. Literally in the last few days, they updated the app to show every single mod that you have in the folder instead of just the ones that you installed through them. For example, here the ones with this icon are ones that I downloaded with CurseForge and the ones that have a folder are the ones that I downloaded on my own. They also show every single CC and tray file you have, which for me it's a lot because I have downloaded a lot of custom content and I have a lot of households saved to my library, even the ones that I didn't make, the sims I didn't make, they show up here. It honestly looks very cluttered, but this literally just was added like in the last three days of me recording this video. And I already had a plan, so here we are. Like I said, this is new to me, so I don't know if it's like this for everyone or mine has some sort of bug, although I don't think so. I don't know if there's a way to hide certain things or sort through only mods. But to do this video, I had to remove my custom content and tray folders because otherwise it would have been too much chaos and you wouldn't even be able to tell what were mods and what was custom content. I really wanted to mention that because I want this video to be completely transparent. Literally up until two days ago, I would have sworn by this app. I don't know if this new thing is going to change much because I don't. it's not like I go on here every day, right? I only go on here when I need to update my mods or look for new stuff. But like I said, I wanted to tell you everything. Another disadvantage is that not all the mods are in the app. It's basically up to the creators, so if they're not on here, you'll have to go the long way, which I'll show you later in the video. One of the most popular mods that is not available is Wicked Wimps, and I think that is because it has mature content. But they do have wonderful wimps, which is what I use. Now to get this app, all you have to do is go to their website, which yes, will be linked down below. You click on Kid Curse Forge app, and then click on download. There's also an option for Mac and Linux if you need them. After you install the app and set up your game, you're good to go. If your game doesn't show up, you can manually add a game and you have to look for this specific folder. Under this PC, you go to your main drive, then program files, EA games, The Sims 4, game and bin. Once you're in that folder, you select it and the game will be loaded into the app. If you don't want to get the app or the mod that you want is not available on it, I am going to show you how to get the mods the regular way. Which is not hard necessarily, but it is harder than using CurseForge. The first thing you will have to do is find the mod that you want and find its download page. For this example, I'm going to be using the Smarter Pie Menu mod by Twisted Magsy. I highly recommend it because you can type 
whatever you're looking for instead of clicking through a thousand menus to find the one option that you want. The first thing you're going to do after you download a zip file is to extract it. If you downloaded something that is just a dot package file or a dot ts4 script file, you can skip this step. Once you have your folder unzipped or your regular files ready, you just drag them or cut and paste them onto your mods folder. This is usually located under Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4. Now this is very important. If the file ends with the .ts4 script, it can only be either in the mods folder itself or inside one folder. If it's inside two or more folders, it won't work. Usually mods that have these files come in folders already, so all they have to do is move that folder as is into your mods folder. If you want to organize your mods folder or something, just be mindful of that. Any files that end with .package can go anywhere, even if it's like 20 folders deep. Remember, if you do it this way, you have to update each mod individually if they are broken or if there's a sims release or update. What I would recommend doing is either keeping a google sheet or a note on your computer with the mod and the direct link to it, so that whenever there's an update you can find it easily. And lastly, something that you have to do if there has just been an update for the game or is your first time installing mods ever is to open your game settings. Go to other and then enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed. Make sure those are checked. If they're not, then just check them, apply changes and restart your game. I think that is all for this tutorial. Again, it's very easy once you know how to do it. I know I was overwhelmed the first time I tried to do it. This process is the exact same if you want to install custom content. However, I do have a video about how to find the custom content and install it if you want to go watch that. Let me know if you're interested in knowing what mods I would recommend and I can make a video on it, but there are hundreds of videos like that on YouTube already and basically in every social media. So you're in good hands in this community. And if you're interested in more Sims or Animal Crossing content from me, then don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Only if you want it though. <laughs> but I hope that this video was helpful or at least a good way to pass your time. And I hope to see you again sometime soon. Good luck and happy modding!